everyone in this video we are going to see what is a thread and we are going to see a simple c sharp program for demonstrating the concept of thread so before moving on to the program we will first see what is a thread the life cycles of the thread and the properties of the thread a thread is basically a execution part of the program it is also called as a live paid process so moving on to the life cycle of a thread we have four main stages they are unstarted state ready state non runnable state and the dead state a unstarted state is a situation where the instances of the thread is created but the stop method is not called a ready state is a situation when the thread is ready to run waiting for cpu cycles in a non runnable state a thread will be not executing if either the sleep method is called or the wait method is called in simple words it means it is blocked by some io operations similarly the complete execution of the thread is given by the dead state a thread will also have three main properties they are is alive is background and priority is alive returns whether the thread is working or not is background returns whether the thread is running in the background or not we have three levels of priority min priority max priority and normal priority min priority ranges from the values 1 to 4 and the max priority ranges from the values 6 to 10 and the normal priority has a exact value 5 so managing a thread a sleep method is used to pause a thread for a specific period of time to so create a threads we need to extend the thread class and the external thread can be executed by start method if two or more threads are executed simultaneously then they are called as multi threads we are going to see the multi thread option by using a concept in c sharp on to the program i am going to show a simple c sharp program which demonstrate the concept of multi threading and i am going to do this program in a ide called as microsoft visual studio and you can download it for free from the internet so initially i'm going to go to file new and project and here i've selected visual c sharp and console application you can give the name of your project here and click okay so this will give me a skeleton code so with this skeleton code i'm going to build my multi thread program so initially what i'm i have to do is you you have to make few changes in the header files so just make this change alone then here i'm going to define a class called as a uh, class thread demo inside which my thread is going to run so i am going to create a program which is going to print the values from 1 to 10 so i am going to create two threads and these two threads are going to print the values from 1 to 10 you can create n number of threads and you can make the threads to print the same values again and again this is not only for printing the values you can define any process and make your threads to do it simultaneously so inside my class thread demo i'm going to define the variables like string t name and int count and i'm going to define a constructor for assigning values for my data variables thread demo of string t name comma int count so here i have given my attributes values which are similar to my uh, data members so in this case what you have to do is you have to use the keyword called as this this dot t name is equal to t name so the purpose of using this keyword is this particular keyword will overcome the ambiguity errors so this will assign the attribute value 
to the data member in the case of your data members and your attribute values are similar to each other if your attribute values are not similar to the data members then you can there is no need for you to use this uh, this keyword if you have a similar value if you have a similar name then you have to make use of this keyword so similarly i'm going to uh, assign value for my count variable using uh, this keyword okay so there is two important methods in multi-thread concepts which is called as run and start so whatever implementation my threads are going to perform is given inside the run method and to start my threads I'm going to use a method called as start thread so in this particular program my threads are going to print values from 1 to 10 so I am going to define it inside the run method. So public void run and here I am going to give a line like monitor dot enter of this. So the reason why I am giving this particular line is when you have two threads and you're going to execute it simultaneously there is a chance for deadlock to occur so what is deadlock is both your threads will overlap each other and your output will not be in a proper order so in order to overcome this you need to use a concept called as synchronization which will synchronize both the thread ones and and both the thread one and thread two for you so in order to uh, use the synchronization concept you must give this line as monitor dot enter of uh, this so this is for your synchronization process so inside my try catch blo block i am giving the values int i is equal to 1 i is less than or equal to 10 i plus plus So here I am going to uh, make my thread to execute with a delay of 100 milliseconds. Then I have, then I am going to print my uh, values from 1 to 10 console dot right line of name plus t name in count plus i So whatever given inside the codes will be displayed in my console and the T name and I or the values uh, which are going to be printed. The T name is going to give the name of the thread for example thread 1 or thread 2 and I value corresponds to the values from 0 to uh, 1. So with this my trike block is over and after this I am going to define my catch block. So if any exception has occurred in the program it will be caught in the catch block and it will be displayed so the error will be there in the e variable so if I print that variable e um, I'll get to know what is the error in the program it is actually an object that is created for the class exception and it has the error which has occurred in the program so, uh, if you if you have uh, seen the exception handling concepts, you have three keywords which is used in the exception handling concept that is try, catch and finally. So, the code which you expect to produce error will be given inside the try block and the error which is thrown by the try block will be caught by the catch block and you, you will display the error there and finally to show that your error. Uh, program has completed you have a method called as finally 
so this finally try and clutch blocks or the part of your exception handling concept so this finally block will show the end of the exceptions that means no other things is going to be implemented or executed after this finally keyword so i i've opened i've uh, given like monitor dot enter dot this which means my except my um, thread is going to start and now i have to end the thread so it is just similar to that syntax monitor dot exit of this so with this my implementation of uh, the thread is over so i have a predefined called uh, class called as class program and inside my uh, public static void main i'm going to create two objects for the thread demo the class thread demo that is td1 and td2 thread demo td1 is equal to new of thread demo of we must not give um, brackets here new thread demo of thread 1 comma 1 so if you closely look into the thread demo class in the constructor i have given like a string and a int value so while creating the object i have uh, passed a string value like thread1 which defines this is my first thread and the count va variable is initialized from the value 1 uh, so now uh, i have to start the thread so as i said before the implementation of my thread is given inside the run method and to start the before to start the thread i need to create a object for the class thread and i am using this particular object that is td1 i am going to call the method which is defined inside the thread demo so i'll i'll make i'll make you to understand if uh, if if i've given the code uh so i first of all i'll create a um, object for the class thread this is a predefined class in c sharp uh with this you can with the help of this class you can inherit you can use all the methods which are defined inside the uh, class thread so i created the object for the thread class and uh, inside this what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the object which i have created td1 for the thread demo and i'm going to run i'm going to call the method run which i have given inside the class thread demo so now i have to start my thread to start the thread uh, give it as uh, t1 dot start of so s must be in capital letter t1 dot start of so repeat the same for your uh, thread 2 also so for this i have given only the thread 1 and repeat the same for your uh, thread 2 also so here i am going to create a object td2 for my thread demo and i am going to pass the value uh, thread 2 and uh, i have given the same counter variable 1 and here uh, i am going to create a object like t2 is equal to new thread of so with the help of uh, td2 i'm going to invoke the method run which i've defined inside the thread demo class so td2 dot run and i'm going to run my thread so t2 dot uh, start so in order to make your uh, console uh, in a standby mode you need to give a line like console dot read key of so it's like already defined in the program so you need you no know, need to repeat it so that's it with the implementation so i'm going to run this program so to run this program uh, give this play button so now my code is building 
and uh, if you see uh, the program if you see the output it is given like the name is thread1 and the value is count1 and uh, if the name is thread2 and uh, the count value is 1 so similarly for for both thread1 and thread2 it has defined all the values from 0 to n thus both my thread1 and thread2 has executed simultaneously uh, so this is a concept of multi-threading uh, in C sharp. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all like it. Thank you so much.